There are new concerns about how Antarctica's glacier melt will affect the climate. Climate correspondent Isabel Ewing has the story. We are looking at a changed planet. That's how a scientist describes new evidence showing the rapid melting of Antarctica's ice has profoundly changed the way the ocean moves and it's happening faster than previously thought. That's significant because ocean circulation is responsible for how the sea absorbs heat and carbon. So this slowing by 30% since 1990 will affect the planet's climate, sea level rise and ecosystems. The day after tomorrow was billed as a science fiction disaster film but was based on a very real phenomenon. Ocean currents shutting down leading to a catastrophic storm and new ice age. While the speed of these impacts is fictional, new research shows the slowing of a major global deep ocean current is actually happening. And now. From a sort of a human experience scale, uh, it's not going to be reversible. The melting of Antarctica's ice means more fresh water is flowing into the sea. It's less dense than salt water, so reduces the amount of water sinking, therefore slowing the deep ocean current. And that's a problem because deep ocean circulation plays a key role in influencing the climate by moving gases and heat around the planet. So if it's slowing down, then we're seeing a change in our environment and we need to be aware of that. And that change could have other drastic effects. So that means um, there'll be sea level rise, there also will be lots more fresh water in the ocean and that will have changes for the ecosystem but also will start changing ocean currents as well. The ocean is all around us, but it's the Antarctic currents that are far away and incredibly hard to study that supply 40% of the world's ocean's vital nutrients and oxygen. We know so little about the deep ocean that we don't know how the life down there will be affected. But melting in Antarctica is already sounding the alarm for ecosystems there. Changes in sea ice, um, that, uh, that sort of icy cover of the ocean is a great habitat for like um, uh, phytoplankton, sort of the, the base of the food web, that's changing really rapidly. And so those ecosystem changes will happen first and, and fast. And these changes weren't anticipated until a few decades from now. This is just a, a huge additional sort of signpost to say that we need to be making changes now in, in how we um, produce emissions. Because we can't claw back the change that's already underway. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.